description we are going to show you how to use an alternate drop color in our ssrs report basically alternate drop color is a fabulous feature of ssrs to give a attractive look our ssrs report uh, we can use alternate row color for our daily product sales report so in this uh, session we are going to show you this feature in ssrs report understand this we are going to use our daily sales data in our report uh, so we are going to copy this script and in our ssdt i mean to say sql server data tools environment we are going to add a data set like ds daily sales we are using embedded data set to my report and we have already created data connection to our database so we are going to paste that query in data set property window and you can see that we have all the fields in our report now we are going to add a new tablix uh, control in our report and set the data set name to our report ds daily sales and now you can see that we have regions we have items order number order date and now we are going to show you items and we are going to show another one more column that is sales case now preview of the report here now you can see that we have the data but we need to give a attractive look to our report for this what we are going to do here basically uh, in ssrs report there is already a inbuilt function that is row number so we are going to use this uh, row number function in our report now you can see that ok so for the detail row in the background of the row we are going to use expression in background color property of the row and there is a inbuilt function like iif and there you can see here there is a function uh, uh, conversion now you can see that there is a function row number so we are going to use this function here and there uh, we can pass group or nothing if we don't have any group in our report then we can pass nothing and mode 2 equal to 0 that means we can pass the color name here if it is 0 then we are going to use light green otherwise we are using transparent color now click on ok and just preview of the report now you can see that we have alternate color functionality in our SSRS report my report I have made some changes like I have uh, used border color maroon for my report 
and preview of our report now our report looks very attractive to the end user now we are going to add a parent group to our report that is region and a group header to our report for the header we are using white color white color or we are using any other color to give some specific look to our report now you can see that we have the preview uh, in our report and uh, our report looks very attractive here now I am going to remove this region and just move the detail region to upper group like this okay and using the sales sum I am give some bold look to the header I mean to say uh, group header now you can see that we have the alternate row color in our report so this is the one scenario that we are using inbuilt feature and we are using expression in our row background color so we can use uh, custom code in our report to give the alternate look alternate color to our report for this what we are going to do we we are going to the report properties in report properties for the code code section we are using just this function to our report now what we are going to do here uh, in this function we are passing the row number as an integer and uh, we have declared two variable odd color and even color as a string and give the color name here and we have checked if row number mod 2 equal to 0 then it will return the even color otherwise it will return the odd color so we are going to copy this function from here and in the report properties code section just going to paste this function okay now what we are going to do here in this section we are just give another, another color name is uh, palm plum to give the difference to our report so in the code section of the report property I am going to palm p p u palm ok now what we are going to do here in the background section in the expression we are calling our function like code dot alternate row color this is the name of the function in our report that means custom function and we are calling row number and we are passing the region is the group in our report ok and preview our report this session we have learned that we have two ways to apply the alternate row colors to our report one way is very easy way we can use the background color property of the row and use the expression 
in our report and another one is we can write the custom codes in the report properties window in the code section as we did in this session also so by using alternate row colors in our reports it give a attractive look to the end users and a meaningful data insight also as we did in our report so hopefully this video is useful to the developers report writers how to apply the alternate row color in ssrs report please subscribe my channel on youtube for more videos on ssrs thank you for watching us